Let us talk about the next chapter for the Z7 line, the Z7 II. The dual X-Speed engine featured in these cameras is actually improving all aspects of the camera. Photographers will notice that the autofocus is much more snappy and reliable even under very challenging conditions, but also more accurate in tracking and enables IAF not only in stills but also in video. This is a first for the Z7 and Z6 line. Overall performance in this camera went up significantly. You will see that also in the frame rates. With 10 frames per second and a much deeper buffer, this camera is much more capable for long shootings and also for fast succession shootings. One of the big requests after we introduced the first generation, they would like to have a double card slot with these cameras. So we listened and now we introduced a dual card slot, one card slot featuring CF Express or XQD if you wish, and the second card slot featuring SD UHS 2. The camera bodies are protected by magnesium alloy from all sides, giving you a very tough camera built for the most toughest condition out there. We also introduce a new battery grip, which will allow you to hot charge batteries, but also delivers vertical shooting controls. The USB-C port also allows you to charge batteries inside the camera while you are not shooting. This new feature of hot power via USB allows you to go through with shooting, for example on extensive video productions, not being relying only on one battery inside your camera. In terms of video, the Z7 II features up to 4K 60p resolution on the full frame sensor. This is a nice step up from the former 4K 30p that the first generation delivered. Even the camera, though it is a piece of hardware, also consists of software which we constantly involve and also add camera features over time. So with this, every Nikon Z camera is also a safe investment. With all the massive performance improvements which we introduce in this generation of cameras, we think this is the next chapter not only of technology but also creative possibilities. One of the strong points of the Z7 II is not only its high resolution with a 45 megapixel sensor, but also its extremely high dynamic range. So if you need to go big on detail, because you're shooting fashion, wedding, landscape, or if you are in need of a multimedia powerhouse with a Z system and also supported by the dual X-Speed engine, actually this is taken to another level. The constant evolution of our system, our software and our lens lineup will offer a solution for all and every situation out there. My name is Konsta Punkka. I'm a Finnish wildlife and adventure photographer. And we are in Kuhma in the eastern Finland. I'm mostly focused on capturing very intimate portraits of Finnish wildlife. I love to spend time with the same animals and through that I can uh, capture sort of the secret world of the animals. So now we are on this uh, lakeside. We are trying to capture the wolf pack now around here. So I have set up the remote controlled camera there as well uh, to maybe get some uh, wide angle shots of the wolves hopefully. So it's now just a matter of time uh, when the animals put the camera out. The biggest thing about wildlife photography for me is to have the correct mindset. So sometimes the nature gives and sometimes it doesn't. When spending a lot of time with the animals, you get to know and learn their uh, paths and their how they move and often react to different uh, situations. And so you are always ready before the best shot might happen. This is the remote control setup. I was sitting myself in the in the height and controlling the camera with through the snap bridge and uh, the bear came extremely close to the camera. So when it comes to remote uh, photography, there's different kind of setups you can use. You can... Now I have been using the snap bridge with the Bluetooth connection and the Wi-Fi connection and it has been uh, super good. 
now when I use the Nikon Z7 II series. It's amazing because it's way lighter. It might rain, it might snow throughout the day. So it's of course very important that the camera is uh, weather sealant and uh, re reliable. If I need something to be extremely sharp and uh, detailed, it is the animal's eye because that's where the viewer's focus always goes uh, and that's always the main thing about the photo. So that means having a big resolutional file is very important. The eyes tells the story. Uh, that's the main thing in my wildlife photography. I have seen a lot of wildlife photography and uh, it's often it's very documentary style. Uh, for me, when I capture the eye contact in the photos, it uh, sort of brings the animal to life. My name is Delphine Diallo. I'm a photographer and visual artist based in New York City, Brooklyn. My love for photography is the connection with vision. So the way that I'm seeing the world, the way that I can interpret what I'm actually experiencing as a human being, it's the reason why I have so much love for photography. The subject in my work are most black women because I never seen when I grew up the interpretation of the black woman, the way that I vision it. So I'm really focusing on creating an, an iconic vision of the black woman. So collage and photography are connected for me because collage allow me to have a, a infinite possibilities and to tell a story who more connected with the story of humanity, not just my vision. So the way that I'm building my world is as well through collage. And the collage helped me to put more depth into the story and recreating two different spaces where they're able to communicate between each other. The relationship that I have with technology is always to improve my creativity on the set. The Nikon Z7 II is like an extension of myself. It gives me the freedom to be more present. It gives me the freedom to not going back to the computer. It gives me the freedom to trust the color and to trust the light. And the fact that everything was so fast, I had to think ahead of time the way that I'm gonna work with her. By using the eye detect feature, I was able finally to focus on the eyes with no stress anymore. I used so much to use the manual focus because I was scared to not having the right focus. The result was outstanding. And my picture looked like a painting. So in my work, I use the word protagonist because I want to move away from the relationship with the photographer and the muse and the model. I want everything in this picture to have a meaning because I felt the story of photography should shift to meaningful content. I'm Tali, based in Germany, and I'm a wedding photographer. I'm always looking for the atmosphere. I'm always looking for the best light I could have. And I try to combine this within my photography. I love destination weddings because it's always nice to be surrounded by different people, by the culture. And as I really love to have the sunset light or the after sunset light in countries like Spain and Italy and Greece, this is why I love to travel there. I love the in-between moments when people don't recognize me, when people don't notice me as a photographer, because it has something really magic. 
So as a wedding photographer, it's very important to be a people person because we are surrounded by 100, 200 people. They have to have a good feeling if you are there. And this is why we think empathy is very important. It's very tough during a wedding day because you have to find the perfect light. You have to find the perfect backdrop. And because it's so tough during a wedding day, it's so good to have a small camera. I think this camera allows me to immerse more into the atmosphere with the people because it's so small and it's very light and people don't focus on the camera. I immediately recognized that the IAF is so fast, it is so sharp, it is really so easy to work. Because when you have a reliable camera, you can focus on the really important thing going on in the day, on the emotions. It's very important to have those 10 frames a second because we need those important shots, for example, when the bride is throwing a bouquet. So this is a great feature of the camera. Another amazing feature for me is that this camera has a second card slot because it gives me security, because you can't repeat any moments. I think it's a mixture between our experience and the camera equipment. It's very um, important to have the flexibility of a camera which is reliable for me and this camera is really the perfect match to my work and to my style because we capture the light, we capture the moment, we capture the atmosphere. This is such an amazing feeling. My name is Stefan Forster. I'm a professional landscape photographer from Switzerland. Right now I'm in the Austrian Alps in Tyrol. Being a landscape photographer was always my passion and will always be. Because I was always the nature boy, I was always out in the wilderness. I always used photography as a reason to be outside all the time. Even the most beautiful scenery, even the most beautiful composition of a frame isn't worth anything if there is no beautiful light. Unless other types of photography, which you can simulate the same light again and again and again. In landscape photography, the moments are unique. So that means when you're standing on a perfect location, on a perfect light, perfect moment, everything is nice then you have to trust your camera. What I need is a camera which survives my style of photography. And they don't care about snow, they don't care about the cold, they don't care about the heat. They're just always working. The camera itself is just a tool, but the most important thing is being somewhere and staying somewhere. So, for me personally, having a light backpack, having a light camera equipment is the most important part. Alrighty. The dynamic range defines the, the capability of the sensor to take the lowest and the highest part in one shot. In landscape photography, it's quite common to go to a place ten times, nine times it's well, it's okay, and one time it's just phenomenal. When I'm standing on a hill or on a mountain, I think, oh no, this other mountain might be the better view, so I'm always in a move. I'm definitely not the classical landscape photographer which is waiting for something. Everything has been photographed a thousand times, so Today, the hunt for a perfect landscape photo means coming again and again and again to the exactly same place until you get this one shot, which you can be proud of. 